A Montgomery County judge is stretching the definition of recovery. <laughs> it's a brand new program that offers women on probation free yoga. Two News reporter Maytel Levy shows us how it's a good example of what is working in the Miami Valley. Inhale. Exhale, lift. On Tuesdays, this group of women meets for yoga. But this class isn't being held in a studio. It's in the basement of the Montgomery County Courthouse. Well, it seems low intensity until you get there and find out that it's uh, uh, pretty intense. Greg Singer has been a Montgomery County judge for 11 years. A couple of years ago, he and several colleagues created Women's Therapeutic Court, helping women deal with issues from drug addiction, everything from heroin to human trafficking. Physical uh, activity generally is is beneficial to our recovering addicts and uh, with uh, yoga we get the mind and spirit involved as well. Women going through the justice system dealing with addiction are offered to be transferred to women's court. Singer says today more than 140 are in the program. Inhale lift that left leg. Kathy Wright has been teaching health and wellness for 35 years. She met Judge Singer at a yoga class years ago. Yes, they're going to get flexible, and yes, they're going to get strong, and yes, they're going to feel beautiful and lean, but more than that, they're going to be mentally prepared to handle life. Kathy believes these women are no different from her and says any of us could be in their shoes. She says yoga and breathing right is a lesson that everyone should learn and adopt into their lives. <laughs> There's an addictive nature to it, but we're all addicted to something, so we might as well be addicted to something that takes us to a good place and empowers us. Judge Singer tells me some have raised their eyebrows to the program, but they both hope the results will speak for themselves. We don't necessarily put ourselves in stressful situations, but they find us, and we have to learn to breathe through a stressful situation. Mates Hall Levy, 2 News, working for you.